So it's Monday, it's time for another Gardening Week video and yet again really, I mean it's summer, I'm not really doing very much gardening but Monday I did get down to the allotment for a few hours and I'll show you what we got done. So one of the things that I've been doing over the last month or so is putting these supports in for these low tunnels so that I can hold them open while I'm harvesting and they don't get in the way of the paths. And now I've done another one for this green tunnel here. So they're not very sturdy, but they're sturdy enough. And uh, I don't normally have the low tunnels on these beds, but when I do, at least now, I've got something to stop them falling over. So we cleared this bed. This one had the golden purslane in it and it got black fly. Uh, it's just not worth trying to recover that situation. Just better to get the bed planted with something else. So we're gonna put patchoy and tatsoy in these two beds next week after we've harvested that little bit of celery there. Taking the nets off the purple sprout in broccoli and put support stakes in and tied all the plants in now because they're no longer being protected from the wind. And I've also given all of the brassicas a good spray with the BT since we've got some nice sunny dry weather ahead of us. So that should deal with any caterpillar problems. There aren't that many to be honest, although we've I found a few leaves with really bad cabbage aphid. And uh, cabbage aphid is one of my most hated of the aphid types. And so I just completely take the leaves off. I don't try to recover the situation and uh, throw the leaves away. I don't compost them. And although all you can see in this bed are onions, it's actually a beetroot bed. If you look carefully, we've taken all the tops off the beetroot though, because they've all got rust. And basically they look kind of like this. And this bed will be the next one to have the tops taken off. They do regrow within a few weeks and uh, so they'll just be fine but uh, it's much better i think to get rid of the rust and also probably get these salad onions and leeks harvested so that these beds are ready for replanting by the end of the month so it's thursday just pop down to the allotment to water mainly the polytunnel and the peppers but uh, I've been painting for most afternoons because it's, there's no wind and it's nice and dry. Perfect painting weather for outdoors. And in the mornings I've been cycling and hiking. So I'm hiking in the Rivington Reservoir System, which is always a beautiful place to visit. And the reservoir's looking reasonably okay. So I was really pleased with those. And I noticed that the white fly look like they're coming to the allotment. I've seen a few white fly buzzing around other people's plants, so it won't be long before they're on mine. So it's Friday and it's sunset and I am just watering the allotment. And I've been to the Lake District today and I've been hiking up the west shore of Windermere and then over to Ampleside and then back on one of the ferries and it was a gorgeous day so uh, yeah really nice change from painting and cycling so it's saturday night and it's really the first time i've been down on the allotment apart from to do a quick water uh, i've just finished the harvest the white fly has arrived on the allotment site. I'd welcome any hints and tips about how to deal with white fly. I haven't had much success with soapy water, although some people seem to. Harvest still a bit slow. Tomatoes are now kicking in. The peppers are a bit slow 
but generally speaking it's all okay we're just uh, muddling through and looking forward to autumn so I'll just show you the harvest so here's another great little summer harvest I'm really enjoying these summer harvests I'm doing them in the evening of the Saturday and then just with packing them and distributing them on the Sunday so this is just for friends for Debbie and I uh, and our local family and nearly all of it will be eaten fresh uh, just a little bit here of extra tomatoes and things because we've already put the tomatoes in the salad mixes so those are for processing we're not processing a huge amount this year um, we find we just don't get through it because we're just mainly eating fresh food uh, but uh, we are doing some and so I'll just step you through so we've got celery uh, red cabbages loads of different types of brassicas we're starting picking the red cabbages now because we've got loads but also the odd one is starting to split because uh, loads and loads of cucumbers being pickled apples being stewed New Zealand spinach potatoes we're still on our early potatoes actually we haven't even touched our main crop potatoes yet um, lunchbox peppers windfall apples uh, golden and red beetroot summer carrots of course we've got loads and loads of carrots still for autumn winter and spring um, that is the amount of carrots we harvest each week uh, probably a little bit more than that normally um, courgettes it's funny these actually because the early ones were all yellow and now they've got the green tips on which is the way they should be I think this variety is Zephyr looks really nice I think uh, onions we've processed started processing the onions that uh, had gone to seed leeks uh, more onions garlic of course every week and little squashes these are winter buffy ball chili peppers mixed beans bartered for those because we haven't got any beans ourselves uh, these are the bigger peppers um, these are still you know we've been harvesting these since late may we're still waiting kind of for like the big harvest of these um, <laughs> which will freeze probably but uh, that'll be sometime probably towards the end of august and into september uh, cucumbers these are what's left of the cucumbers after I put about I don't know 30 odd cucumbers into the salad mixes and the tomatoes we still haven't got very many big tomatoes uh, we've got lots on the plants but they're not ripening quite as quickly of course as the cherries and the salad mixes and so in these salad mixes there's loads of salad leaves uh, spring onions, cucumbers, tomatoes. Uh, I think that's it actually. We'll liven up a bit later on in the year. So I think with that, we can call it a day. It's not a bad little harvest for summer. So I hope you like this quick video. My name's Steve. This is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel. And I'll see you soon.